Do you know what the number one sales tool you have in your business is? It's your menu. And menu design is critical. Let's talk a little bit about menu design for menu engineering. I'm gonna share that with you in about two seconds. Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters, creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. And I gotta tell you, the number one sales tool you have in your business is your menu. This is critical to your success. Better yet, if you can control your menu, you can actually adjust your cost of goods sold without giving up guest satisfaction, without cutting product quality, without raising your prices beyond belief that nobody will walk in your door. But there are a couple things you've got to have in place. And those two things are accurate, up-to-date recipe costing cards. I don't care if you do them by hand, whether you're using a spreadsheet or fancy software. Accurate, up-to-date recipe costing cards are critical to menu design. Without it, you are literally throwing your profitability, what I call dumbass luck. As you pick items to merchandise, you can actually lose money faster. So understand this process requires that information. Next is a point of sale system and using what's called a P mix report, product mix report, velocity report, item by item sales mix report, daily sales report, don't care what it's called, every item you sell on a daily basis is all listed there. Because when I have what it costs, how many I sold and what I sold it for, you can come up with something called your ideal food cost. Knowing that if you had no waste, no theft, no spoilage, perfect restaurant, because you followed every recipe costing card perfectly, by the way, there is no such thing as a perfect restaurant, you'll know what your food cost should be in your restaurant based on what your customers actually purchase and where you should be, right? Here's the bottom line, that's critical. Because if you give me that information, we go down the menu engineering path. When I have that data, we can change your bottom line anywhere from three to seven points the first time. Imagine selling the same products to the same customers, but because you could surgically decide where you raised your prices on the top few items, maybe not every single one of them. If you knew where to place an item because it would sell more, which would increase your cash contribution, maybe even lower your food cost. If you understood that if you put this picture on a page, you could change your bottom line overnight or again, box an item, right? If you had this information, the science behind menu engineering, because you had recipe cards and product mix, you could literally take control of your business. Now I'm going to tell you, you've got to make sure that when you do this, if it were me, I'd use a professional. I'd find somebody, a company, a consultant, a someone who understands menu engineering, but must require you to have recipe costing cards in your PMIX. You've got to stay away from the company that just goes, hey, what are your two top money-making items? That's not how you do menu engineering. You cannot do this process without recipe costing cards. I'm telling you right now, it cannot be done. So if you want to make a, a change to your menu, Start with recipe cards, make sure your point of sale system is set up with every item that you sell, that there is a key for it, and then go seek a professional because you can change your bottom line. Do me a favor in the comments down below, talk to me about some of your experiences you've had with menu engineering, whether you've done it on your own or you've used a company, and especially if you like them because other people need to learn more about them.